The way that sea country is actually expanding all of our knowledges of the deep occupation of Australia is one of the most important outcomes of what we're trying to represent in this exhibition. When Europeans first encountered the Australian continent, they encountered it from the sea. They're concerned with the shoreline as a hazard, and their maps show that. They show the dangers, the shoals, the shallows. The way that European charts and maps define the edges of land and water uh, is completely different to the way that First Nations experience of recording knowledge and memory of place exists. You can have ancestral places which are two, you know, 20 kilometres out to sea or deep underground or up in the sky. They are incredibly important aspects of understanding place. Early European maps of the Pacific and Australia were limited by the viewpoint of the people making them. Crossing the continent gives explorers an extremely limited view of the land that they're passing through. They're only glimpses of the ocean of the coastline of the continent. They can't be complete. Map makers are doing their best with the limited information that they have available to them. There's a really important information which can't be depicted or represented. It needs to be something that's known, which helps people in their way that they record information, what we would call in a European sense, a map, but in a First Nations Australian sense is more of a, a journey. The original European settlements on the Australian continent were coastal settlements. And even then, the explorers that set out from those settlements to better know the continent were going in search of rivers. That story of water remains vital to the history of Australia. The way that Triana Ham's possum skin cloak is a representation of the Murray River. It's about using the land itself and the waters itself to represent the journey through that space. And I think that's a really perfect example of the way that knowledge isn't just randomly assembled together, but it's actually knowledge of place and using place itself to depict what you're trying to depict and share. Maps are extraordinary in that they're about potential and possibilities and people exploring Australia are heading off to find what they think should be there. I think one of the big differences with Indigenous knowledge systems in relation to mapping is that it's all about the experience of being on country. Information is embedded in the landscape. It's not something that can be abstracted and written down and read by a stranger. You need to actually have that deep experience of country and deep experience of place to be able to find your way. Maps are problematic and they can be deceptive. And they're deceptive in Australia in particular for making things constant when actually they're fluid. In the landscape that many First Nations people have lived in over generations has just transformed so much. First Nations people weren't fixed in one place forever. They were constantly moving and you know, responding to their environment and being shaped by their environment. <laughs>